Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this beautiful Monday morning in Dadeville, Alabama. What a great day it is, because this is the day that the Lord has created for you and for me to serve Him and to honor Him and to love our fellow man. And I hope that you've started your day well already and that you've spent some time in the Word and in prayer and just uh, to, to take care of that relationship with Him and Make sure that uh, everything is good there. But today, if you would, just join me for a few minutes as we continue our journey through the book of Proverbs. And if you want to follow along with us, we're in Proverbs chapter 29. We're going to pick up in verse 25. And we're going to look at a couple of verses uh, today. He says uh, in verse 25, The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. I can remember that uh, many years ago I, I had uh, the opportunity to to go through Experiencing God, which is a Henry Blackaby uh, study. And uh, one of the first memory verses that we learned was out of the Psalms, and it says, Tr Some trust in horses and some in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And that's always stuck with me because it's so important that we keep our focus right. Uh, too many times we look to men to take care of our needs. We look to women to take care of our needs. We look to government to take care of our needs. We look to churches to take care of our needs. We look to pastors to take care of our needs. And, and so many different things that, that, that we, we put our focus on, thinking that it's going to satisfy the deepest longings of our heart. It's going to provide for us the things that we desperately need, the things that we want. And what the Bible is clear about, is that only when we trust in the name of the Lord our God, only when we put our focus on Him, are we going to find success? Are we going to find happiness? Are we going to find peace? Are we going to find joy? Because all of that is in that relationship with the Heavenly Father that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Look at what he says in verse 25. The fear of man brings a snare. What has ever been accomplished by a person who is fearful, too afraid to move, too afraid to make decisions. And so often we do that, don't we? We come to a point where we, we need to make a decision and the fear grips us and, and we can't decide, should I, I take the next job or should I stay where I am? Should I sell my house and buy another one? What should I do? And it, because of fear, we become paralyzed. But the good King Solomon tells us, whoever trusts in the Lord shall be saved. Now, what's he talking about there? We trust in the Lord. One, in the fact that God loves us, and he does. He loves us unconditionally. As his children, the Bible says we rest in the palm of his hand, and nothing can take that take, take us out of the palm of his hand. Romans 8, 28 reminds us that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. And so we can trust in the fact that God is watching over us, that God is going to take care of us, as long as we are seeking his will, following his uh, guidance, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's what it means to trust in the Lord. And when we do that, we're safe. That's the promise of God's holy word. We're safe. He will continue to, to watch over us. Now, understand that as we, we look at this next verse, he says, many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. We can go to the courts. We can go to the, the governor. We can go to the president trying to, to, to make sure that they are going to take care of us. But the truth is, justice only comes from God. True justice comes from God. Now, our, our goal is, our hope is, that our governing authorities are listening to the voice of God, and because of that, they are uh, the officers of justice. But so many times, that's not the case, is it? Throughout the history of this world, uh, mankind is, has been uh, affected by corrupt judges, corrupt uh, leaders, corrupt whatever, because money tends to draw people away from true justice. Power tends to draw people away from true justice. But where does that justice really come from? True justice comes from a focus on God and trusting in Him, and He will guide us in the way that we should go. Listen, we're living in a sin-filled, sinful world where bad things happen because that's just what happens in a sin-filled, sinful world. And what we've got to understand is in the midst of all of this, we know 
that this world is not the end for us. This is not where we get our rewards. This is not where we find our happiness. Our happiness is in Christ Jesus and the knowledge that one day we'll be in a perfect place with a perfect Savior for all of eternity. I hope that you have a great day today. Focus on Him today, the King of kings and Lord of lords. I'll see you tomorrow.